Hey everybody, here we are, uh, Food Forest Farm and Long Spoon Farm in the field on a beautiful morning. Um, looking at the pasture, just moved the sheep. We have three katahdins this year, hair sheep. And I just wanted to show you what I'm working on here. I have a, a field full of uh, Eurasian knapweed, which is this purple flower right here. Um, it's probably 90% uh, knapweed. You can kind of see their tufts here. This is a new growing area right here. Uh, and this is the this is the flower bud. And so I had the sheep in an area uh, the last two days. You can actually see there's a little bit of a delineation here with a nice dark green on this side and then lighter green on this side because this is where they ate the knapweed. Not, not, not a lot of people know that knapweed uh, it has some good protein in it. Um, it's not their first, the sheep's first choice, but uh, here's an area where you can see the the tips have been eaten off by the uh, by the sheep. So this whole bunch had flower tops on it. Um, you can also see that they, they've they've also nibbled on the leaves as well. So here's the area where they're eating the leaves. So the knapweed is uh, actually, even though it's a pretty uh, opportunistic uh, Eurasian species and it's taken over this field in a way, or at least it's taken the opportunity to, to grow in this field, um, the sheep uh, tend to do a pretty good job on it. They were in here for two days. So here's uh, two days worth of trampling and eating. Uh, and this is what it looks like. The day, the, the day before, it would have looked like this. Uh, and this is what it looks like now. So kind of a before and after there. Um, and so I have them in a paddock over here. You can see all the yellowing and brown where they were trampling and pooping. You can see their poopies. That's great. That's why I have them. Bring in some... Um, some uh, fertility to this ground and trying to get this knapweed under control. Trying to reduce it a little bit so I can get more species in here, more diversity. So you can see all the all the tops. Those are all, all that purple pretty much. There's some red clover in there, but it's mostly uh, knapweed. And this, this particular knapweed, I don't remember the name, but it's a hybrid of two different, two or three knapweeds there's some evidence that it was hybridized in um, in uh, New York, in um, up in northern New York. Um, so I have a very special knapweed. It's very uh, very good at what it does in a disturbed landscape. But hopefully the sheep will help us with it. Okay, signing off. Let me know what you think. Add any uh, of your experiences as well. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.